Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. As you can see, this is a Dell P66F model. And recently I replaced the hard drive with SSD and I must need to install Windows on it from the bootable USB thumb drive. So today I'm gonna to install the Windows in legacy, not in UEFI environment. But if you would like to see how to install Windows in UEFI based or secure boot uh, by enabling secure boot then please watch out my another video in this channel so let's show you so two things we need to do first of all we should have the laptop and then the bootable USB thumb drive which is Windows 10 in this case okay so first of all we need to connect it once we connect then we need to turn on the machine Make sure in your machine is completely turned off and make sure the charger is connected because it burns a lot of energy. So if you run on battery, it could be interrupt middle of the way. We never know. And they are always unique with the BIOS, okay? And always they use the key which is called F2. And thanks to Dell for that because since the beginning until today, they never changed it, which is absolutely brilliant. So let's get into the point. First, we're gonna press the power button. And once we see the light on the screen, we're gonna press F2 to get into BIOS and change the boot option and enable the USB boot. So I'm just waiting for it. And I'm gonna press F2. All right. Once I press F2, it takes me directly to the BIOS screen, which is that one. Okay, let's let's bring into good focus. Anyway, focus into left hand side. As you can see here, it's a general. In general, you can get the system information. From here, you will get all the information about your machine, the service tag, the BIOS version, ownership tag, memory, and pretty much everything about the machine details and then if you go to battery you can see the battery information but we're going to go to boot sequence which is the third option from the general and in here on the right hand side sorry it shows um, USB diskette device and then internal HDD whatever it is so from here what are you going to do we're going to choose USB storage device and internal and rest everything we're going to take out but if you would like to reinstall it from the DVD drive, make sure you keep the tick on it and rest everything is fine. And in these sectors it shows uh, currently this is on legacy I believe because if I click on UEFI it shows UEFI but I'm going to choose on legacy. Anyway, let's go to advanced boot option. In this point we can change. It says enable legacy which is fine and then security and then secure boot so what are you going to do we're going to click on security just to check okay this is all about the password and you know uefi things changes which is not related to ours then we're going to go to secure boot once you click on secure boot we can check the secure boot enable or disable which is disabled is absolutely fine for legacy all right and then rest everything should be as it is we don't need to do anything let's go back to anyway for some reason it's not showing up what's supposed to show in here the legacy one i don't know why anyway i'm gonna save it i'm gonna say okay let's go to system configuration usb configuration has to be enabled and press everything is fine so we can exit it and we can check what happened so we're going to press f2 for this time just to check if it gives me the bootable all the options so anyway we can see the legacy boot is enabled which one earlier it didn't show me on the system so i can see internal hdd and then onboard nic but i don't see my bootable usb thumb drive which is surprising but let's say if you are unable to change the boot mood I'm going to show you how to do that can you see in the bottom line it says change boot option and in here there are two options one of them legacy boot 
mood and another one is the uefi so if i hit enter for the legacy it's going to give you the option and again i'm going to keep pressing f12 just to get into temporary boot option and see if everything is okay or not all right so now we're going to check if i am able to see the actual bootable usb thumb drive on the legacy boot list but unfortunately it doesn't show I know definitely that is the issue with the USB port or might be the bootable USB. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to switch the bootable USB thumb drive from left hand side to the right hand side connector and I'll double check if it shows on the list. So let's repeat the same thing. Yes. As you can see, now it shows the USB storage device. So don't be surprised if you don't see your USB stick on the list before we connected on the right left hand side and it didn't work and when I connected on the right hand side it shows so if you don't see if same thing happened to you similar to me then make sure you do try okay now I'm going to choose USB storage device and hit enter once I do then we will be able to see the Windows logo which is normal yes all right so from now on it's so simple i think probably everybody knows what to do you just need to choose your language and region time and currency settings and everything and the actual installation speed depend on laptops configuration this one does have ssd instead of hard drive so it's going to be a little bit faster i'm going to do fresh installation so i choose the bottom option and I'm going to format the actual SSD, which is brand new. And if you like, you can create the partition in right here by applying the desired amount, how much space that you want. Okay, I just created one more partition, which is two. And now I'm going to pause the video. It's going to go up to 100%. And you don't need to worry about anything. It's going to do a couple of restarts you know and before it finalized the settings it's going to ask you a lot of permission about the behavior of this actual operating system rather than that everything is absolutely fine there is nothing to worry about it so there are some key point first of all you need to choose the right boot environment either the legacy or the uefi remember when the secure boot is on that means this is the UFI one and when it's secure boot is off, it enables the opposite which is the legacy one. Okay. Still, if you do have any question, make sure you leave it in the comment section. I hope I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now. Thank you.